Well, as the search continues for Chicago's next police superintendent, the community commission in charge of the process wants to make sure everyday residents are included. And they've been holding public hearings all month long to give the community a chance to weigh in and share their thoughts on what they'd like to see in Chicago's next top cop. Joining us now again here on the stream to talk about that process and give us an update is President Anthony Driver. Anthony, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Glad to be here. Okay, let's talk about why the commission, which is newly formed, this is a brand new venture uh, for the commission and the city, but why did the commission want to hold these public hearings to get the input on the hiring process for the next superintendent? Yeah, so uh, our commission was created to actually inject the public voice into the public safety process. Um, so we are having town halls across the city of Chicago. We've already had three, one on the south side, one on the west side, and one virtual. And we'll also be having one uh, on the north side, as well as announcing more town halls. But our goal is to get uh, public feedback and input about what they, what and who they would like to see uh, as their next police superintendent. What has the turnout been so far for these meetings? You have, you've had three. You have one more next week coming yep. up. And what are residents saying? What, what are they voicing in, in terms of their opinions of the qualities and characteristics they want to see in the next C CPD superintendent? Yeah, I think the lowest turnout we've had so far is about 150 people. So every, uh, you know, we had one at St. Sabina, one on the north side, the Keyron Center, and the virtual one last night. Um, and the virtual one may have been the smallest one with about 150 people. Um, so we've had great, great turnout. Um, folks are making their voices heard. They are advocating for particular candidates. They're sharing testimonies. They're, they're sharing their vision for public safety and what they like to see in the city. Uh, most folks want to build trust between uh, the community and, and, and police officers and the department. Um, they want a leader who's present, a leader who's transparent, and a leader who puts the needs of every community first. And, and Anthony, how you, will you take this input and apply it into the search process as you look to find three candidates to present to Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson once he takes office? Well, I guess that'll be later this summer when you do that. Yeah, so their, their input is very valuable. As I explained to uh, many of the folks who came out and made their voices heard, uh, many of the questions that they ask us uh, we will ask directly to people who are interviewing to be uh, the next superintendent of police for, for CPD. Have you had so any... their, their, their questions will be front and center um, throughout this entire interview process, as well as we've consulted with many subject matter experts, many former CPD and, and uh, current CPD folks, as well as national experts. And uh, I'm sorry for interrupting, but I was going to ask you, have you had any conversations with Brandon Johnson since he won the runoff election for mayor? Yes, I actually, uh, I talked to Mayor-elect Johnson the day after the election. So the day uh, he won, uh, the very next day we had a, a conversation. Uh, he has said that he supports our process. Uh, he wants to support our commission. And I have uh, stated to him that we want to make sure that we get three people uh, that he can live with and that he can, uh, you know, make a, a quality selection from. We want to get it right the first time. And with that process, you guys will have three finalists and he will select what if he doesn't select any. The process starts over again. You just hired an outside search firm to help with the process of finding the next Chicago police superintendent. Why was that firm brought in and how is that going? Yeah, so we want to maximize capacity, right? We have a, a, a pretty good staff at our commission, but also things like doing thorough background checks, uh, help with recruiting, making sure that these, this is a firm uh, that has this experience doing this at the national level and across uh, different municipalities in, in the country. Uh, so, you know, while we, we appreciate the expertise that we have with our subject matter experts and our own staff, uh, we did want to bring in some additional help for things like background checks um, and recruitment. Anthony Driver from the, the president of the new commission that's hiring, spearheading the hiring process for the next Chicago Police Superintendent. Thanks for being with us. That final public hearing is set for May 4th, next Thursday at Roosevelt High School from 6 to 8 in the evening.